Isotopes are versions of an element that have different masses due to uh, different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus. For example, hydrogen is a, is a simple atom that has three isotopes. Protium has no neutrons, deuterium has one neutron, and tritium has two neutrons. We can use these isotopes as tracers in the environment because the chemicals that have the various isotopes have different masses and they tend to separate in environmental processes. Well, nitrite isotopes are isotopes of nitrogen, N14 and N15, and oxygen, which has three isotopes, oxygen 16, 17, and 18. Research has shown that when you look at the nitrate uh, in groundwater underneath a place where there has been no grazing and no cows and things like that where you'd have manure, that you get a different isotopic signature than you do if you have a, a field and below that the groundwater has just been affected by chemical fertilizers. Well, because the isotopic methods have been around for decades, uh, you would think that everybody is on board, but some people don't understand it and it's not that commonly used. So I tend to use other techniques, such as um, using other isotopes like the oxygen 18 and the hydrogen in the water molecule, and also high resolution groundwater level monitoring and that helps me to understand the relationship between rainfall runoff, groundwater recharge, and nitrate sources. Some buy into it and some don't. Um, that's why multi-technique approach is good to be more convincing to those people who haven't yet bought into the isotopic approach. Thank you.